What's up everybody, it's your host Claire Jagoon, and in today's video guys, I'm going to showcase some 11v11s and 10v10 attacks in this war with North Watchers versus War Wells. And guys, it was some really great hits in this war, and I'm going to get started right here on number 3 by Exit. And this is an 11v11 triple, and these, I've been watching guys, these aren't Max Infernos yet, but they're level 4, so they're pretty deadly. But right here, as you can see, Exit has... Uh, it, it's not really technically a bow witch. It's more of a queen walk to mass bowler. And let's see how he starts this raid. I think he's going to start up there by the warden. I th well, I was wrong. I, I know the bowlers go in at that end. But he's starting his walk at the other end. And he's probably just trying to make the funnel here. And you know, when you first see an attack like this, you know you're thinking two stars. Uh, at least that's what I was thinking. Uh, but I was wrong. And right here, here comes his bowlers and the warden. And this is a very, very, very simple plan here. He's just pushing right up into this base. And he's going to rage and jump at key moments. And it's amazing that he got this base down. This is not an easy base at all, guys. And just look, it looks like he's mowing the lawn here. He's going right through this 11. His queen walk is on uh, cruise control right now. The bowler walk is too, the witches. And he got a lot of value out of that bowler walk with the witches. It's pretty amazing. And, and they're pretty much working hand in hand with the core shot. Now his warden and king abilities have been used. The queen still has hers. And the attack is starting to lose steam. But there's not much left to get, guys. There really isn't. As you can see here, the queen can phase probably and take out most of the remaining defenses. And I'm going to speed it up to two because it's pretty much over. Where's that queen phase? Exit is not even going to phase the queen. He's just going to swag it. Wow. That's an amazing hit right there, Exit. All right, so we're going to scroll down to number seven. And this is by Agent 33. And he has got a Sacrificial Royal Laloon with two Skelly Spells. Always make note of that. Obviously, with a Sacrificial Royal Laloon, he's not going to get that queen in the middle of this base. It's not going to happen. But he's got two Rages, and I guarantee one of them is going to have those Skelly Spells in, right in it. So let's see, and, and I guarantee he's going to go after an AD here. There's a couple of ADs. Uh, no, I am wrong. I apologize, guys. I, I think he's targeting this eight, or this Inferno, but that's a lot of work right here. That's asking a lot from these Royals. I know they're 40-40. Wow, he, yeah. He, he's going to get it, guys. I think he's going to get it. That Queen, once she pops her abilities... Now her ability, she's going to step up. If she can get this wizard tower down, it's a it's a guarantee. Yep, right here, boom. Ability, Inferno down. That is amazing. Agent, sorry for doubting you, man. You got it done. I, I just like, wow. That's pretty impressive. All right, so he's dropped, uh, I think he's got three hounds right here. There's one already popped. And there's his first rage. And there's the skellies. I was going to say, that rage is really close to the queen. I think I would go after that. And Vagent does. Or Agent, I'm sorry. And uh, he's coming in with the next bunch of balloons. And wow, it is, it is looking really good at this point. He's got to get past that Inferno to use the heal. And there's the heal with the haste. And that is so beautiful. And guys, these, these Town Hall 10 attacks uh, and 11 have to be planned so meticulous for type like these type of air attacks. It is insane, the amount of planning. So we're going to speed it up right here. He's fighting a sweeper, but that's just a waste of time. That tower is not going to survive, and this base is a wrap. Okay, so we'll move on to the next hit. That is number 11. 
and it is a Queen Walk Laloon. Now guys, this base, you know, obviously is not max, but neither is uh, Hockey's Heroes. So, I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's tit for tat. Uh, so let's take a look, and I'm not sure, I see his hods are not maxed. Maybe he's got a couple other things at Town Hall 10 that's not maxed. I'm not really familiar uh, with their troop levels, so you guys let me know in the comments. But I can tell you this, uh, a base like this cannot be toyed with, that's for sure. So that baby drag's telling me he's trying to push the queen to her right. Looks like he might be targeting this air defense uh, with this walk. He wants to get in there, get that AD down. I don't see a I don't see a uh, a skelly spell here, so I think he's trying to push in and actually engage the Royals with this attack right here, guys. All right, there's a hog. He's trying to pull the CC, possibly. And he did. And here comes the Lava Hound. Now that balloon, uh, he dropped that poison, obviously, for the balloon so that it gives his queen time to take down this hound. Queen's under rage. And the balloon is down. Drops a minion. I, I see that a lot, guys, in this higher level uh, clan play. These guys use a minion or a wizard to help out with the lava pups. And it seems to work really well. All right, so here comes some wall breakers. Oh no, did he get in? Yeah, he got in, he got in, guys. So if he pushes in deep enough here, he'll be able to access that compartment. And I think ultimately that's what he's trying to do. Watch the wall breakers. Boom, excellent job with those wall breakers hockey that is amazing dude right here that last rage uh, for the queen her abilities used but he got the enemy queen and now if you look at the base it is just set up perfectly for the Lalo and here he comes he's gonna miss this one defense but that doesn't matter the Queen's probably gonna get that pretty soon on the rest of her wall now let's just watch these balloons work He's gonna drop, I was gonna say, he's gonna drop some on those Tesla's pretty soon. Cause he don't want the group of balloons to leave uh, the path that it's taking right now. And he's got that one more haste, and there he goes. He's not even gonna play around, he's gonna go ahead and haste. He's gotta get to this uh, Tesla right here. And it's gonna be a wrap, guys. It is a wrap. Great job, hockey excellent attack and now we'll move on to number 12 which is by captain and it is another queen walk loon now guys this base is lower than the other one but has max infernos now it, it does have level 3 bows which the other one did but they're still pretty devastating so let's take a look at this attack right there baby drag you guys know he's pushing the queen to her left that's the cue she's gonna step up to the cannon and hopefully not get dragged off uh, by the other defenses why everything's targeting the queen he dropped those wall breakers but uh, or well he only dropped one just to test And now he's created that nice little pocket in there. He's going to get the queen in and take out all this DPS right here. But it doesn't look like he's going to be able to deal with the enemy queen. So I, I'm kind of concerned about this. There is the Lava Hound and Balloon and the CC. Now you see he put a wizard up there to help. And that's going to help get him down pretty fast. There's another couple of archers he put down right there to help out, keep the healers from getting banged up. And now the queen's all set. She's back on her wall. But he's still got four AD up and the queen, guys. Four AD and the queen. And I'm only seeing a possibility of two lava hounds. So this is this is definitely gonna be a stretch here. Oh, 
but look at there guys plot thickens the queen has a jump and man if she don't get on that inferno it is roasting her right now he's gonna have to phase her here i believe yep he phased didn't know if he was gonna do that or if he was gonna rage her but he is gonna rage her one more time and now it is time for the lot low that raid should get the queen through uh, these archer towers. That big bomb is kind of hurtful, but look at this. And this attack is very reminiscent of a TDH, guys, at Town Hall 10. That's really cool. I love to see it. The TDH attack, if you're not familiar with that, it's at uh, Town Hall 9. And uh, the guy actually uh, is in War Wells, which is the clan uh, that is facing North Watchers in this war. So it's kind of uh, ironic that Captain is using this attacking method. So let's speed it up, guys, because Captain's got it. And guys, I hope you enjoyed watching these uh, nice 11v11 and 10v10 hits in this war uh, with War Wells and North Watchers. Uh, these are really well planned and executed attacks and and you know each time we watch these videos just gain a little bit of knowledge on these attacks and how they do it in the planning and it'll help you to become a three-star attacker at, at town hall 10 and 11. you know that that is no easy chore it is a tough tough uh level to be at in the game and there's a lot of stress on your shoulders uh in your clan every war i'm sure and with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, content today. I hope it was helpful. And with that, I'm out of here, guys. You guys still here? Ah. Bonus. Remember that guy, TDH, uh, we were just talking about at the end of that video? Well, guess who got to hit him? Yours truly. Uh, Pappy is my secondary account, and it is in North Watchers, and I had the honor to uh, hit TDH's base with my account. Now, I did not hit TDH's base with a TDH, by the way, guys. I hit it with a Queen Walk Loon. And by the way, uh, Rice uh, helped me out with the planning on this base, and the hit went really smooth. And basically on this attack, uh, it's, all about, it's all about getting the queen to go where I want her to go. And I'm trying to get her to go into this box and get her to take down the enemy queen. And granted guys, this is an extra. This has nothing to do with the video that you just watched. This is just a bonus. So right here, here comes the CC. I'm ready for him with a poison. And I'm gonna burn three rages on this wall, guys. Um, it, it's, uh, it's a lot of commitment on that, but look at the value I get from burning the rages on this queen charge. Got a lot of value from that baby track too, by the way. He put in some work. But right here, I was starting to become concerned on time. So I went ahead and busted out that, that rage right there, took the queen down, I phased her, and right here, I was just kind of like, well, do I do I use another Rage? I really need that Sweeper down. I knew that if I got up in that pocket, you know, I would be good. So right here, I decided to Rage pretty soon because I was looking at the time, and really, I needed to start my Lalo um, at a minute 30. So I kind of I kind of waited a little bit on the Lalo, but it's coming in. And right here, pay attention to the group of balloons that I first dropped. These ones right here. This this almost uh, screws me right here. This Archer Tower, because that sweeper, the Queen did not get the sweeper. So what happens? The Archer Tower takes out that group of balloons, and these balloons go back to assist. And so that leads the raid to these guys. And I have committed all my balloons, which is the deadly sin of balloon attacks. But I felt that with these balloons going away, I needed to go ahead and commit. 
queen just died. I really hated that too. I was hoping she would help me clean up. But as you can see guys, I had plenty of pups left and this base is a wrap. And it was uh, it was really cool. I I, um, I was happy to to be able to to say hello to TDH, uh, and therefore and like I said in a, in another video, me and TDH are going to be bringing you guys a uh, Way of the Warrior series or either a high level scout video showcasing the TDH attack. But I just had to put this in here because TDH is the man. How you doing, bud? Guys, I'm out of here this time. <laughs>